Hey guys, I'm DJ Just Next here. Today, back with another Ninjala video. Season 2 has released in Ninjala, and with it, it came new stages, new shinobi cards, and a new weapon class called the Board Class. Today, in this weapon analysis video, I'm going to be talking about the Festival Board, as we see right here. The Festival Board is a, <clears throat> is a skateboard, a Rush Down style skateboard with a pretty pretty solid kit that has going for it. Beginning beginning with the the special is called Sweet Ride. Sweet Ride, you hop on the skateboard and you ride around on like active skateboard. And then you can perform tricks to increase the amount of damage it can do with with one attack. The amount of tricks that you have to, have to perform when it at base is 10 tricks not in a row but you just have to perform 10 tricks and the damage cap is going to be increased you'll know when the damage is finished because it will be an extra shine that just happened like that and attack out of it and it does a lot of damage now the damage buff only stays if you attack out of out of the uh, riding on the skateboard you can't cancel it and then attack because it won't won't carry over the damage makes it really 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 powerful weapon like one of the strongest weapons in the game with this buff but come with it with the abilities for the special basically when you defeat an opponent like this the amount of tricks that you have to perform to reach the damage cap is lowered because the base is 10 but then if you defeat an opponent it cuts in half to five only perform five tricks to reach the damage cap like that and then and then the ability when it is a big weapon is basically the same thing the amount of tricks that you have to perform is lowered but all the time for a big weapon but those two abilities can stack can stack when they both stack the lowest amount of tricks that you can that you have to perform turn goes to four it goes from 10 tricks to five tricks to four tricks which is the lowest which is pretty good you can build build up tricks and the damage really fast and just destroy people over and over, and over again it's pretty solid and the board also has crazy mobility too it, it's so free and what it what it does you press the Y button again to cancel it and then next I'm going to talk about the attacks the attack pattern has is pretty cool looking it does a solid amount of damage and can do things and the boy's back attack can teleport around and the wide attack is just a, a kick, a 360 kick. And then the combo pattern that has a probably is just like the Ebon Katana. Pretty solid, fast paced, solid, good damage as well. Cause the skateboard and the Ebon Katana are basically almost one to one in how they attack. It's pretty just really really good. The next, next I'm going to talk about the ninjutsu. The ninjutsu is a new one called the Shinobi Beast. The Shinobi Beast, as we pull it off, you turn to this giant monster, and then, just like the Punishing Blade, because the transformation ninjutsu, but it only has one hit at a time, but has super armor in the middle of the attack, and you can also see people through the walls when you have it on. So th this ninjutsu is mainly going to be. For for like hunting down certain people over the course of the match because punishing blade is more for like you can just go towards the enemy and just press the ZR button because the projectiles it has can can um bind them but shinobi beast can't can't bind opponents you can only hit them one at a time like that and but, Sh but Shinobi Beast when it's not doesn't have any super armor, it can you can be still hit and f flung around like like if you're a regular per uh, a regular person and such. So Shinobi Beast is pretty good, but you might have to be a little careful or how aggressive you can, can get with it because you could definitely be blown up as well. And then lastly, it has Gumnet. Gumnet with his weapon can be pretty gives it a defensive ability somewhat. You can just ride around, shoot the gum shoot, and, and then attack. So like, it's basically, it's basically like the Epoch Katana, but if it had a gum net instead, and an interesting special as well. 
So yeah, that pretty much covers the, the video and the skateboard rushdown style weapon with the damage buff capabilities. Pretty solid and pretty really fun choice. Now, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And in the next video, I will be covering the combo combo plate. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.